everybody from YouTube. My name is Random Linux Guy, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, creating a bootable USB drive with Ubuntu 14.4 LTS on it. Now, there are two reasons I'm going to be using um, Ubuntu 14.4 LTS instead of the latest version. Number one is because my internet is really slow and it takes forever to download large ISO files, for example, operating system files. And two, um, LTS, the 14.4, uh, has something called LTS long-term service, which is a good thing to look for when you're running Ubuntu. So, let's immediately get started. First thing you're going to do is open up your browser and go to www.ubuntu.com. That is U-B-U-N-T-U dot com, as I have it spelled on the screen. If you would like to learn more about desktop, phone, or tablet OSs, you can click here, here, or here. But for now, we're just going to go to the Download tab. You're going to click on Download Ubuntu for Desktop. Um, if you're on a server, then you can download Ubuntu for server, but it is different. And if you're on a desktop or a laptop, then I would choose Ubuntu Desktop because that will work the best. Again, Ubuntu 14.04.3 LTS is uh, that stands for long term service and that's a good thing to come to uh, look for it says right here it comes with five years of security and maintenance uh, updates guaranteed so that's that's good to have um, if you're uh, fairly new to Linux you can always get the 15.10 version which is um, latest features but no uh, it only comes with nine months of security and maintenance updates where is this version comes with five years so this is the better deal if you're looking for long-term support as the name suggests and this one is better if you want all of the latest features now for flavor um, always go with 64-bit I always do um, if you have a really bad computer you can download 32-bit but it won't make a difference which one you choose the only thing is if you have a good computer and you choose 30-bit 32-bit it will throttle your hardware down and cause you to um, not use your hardware to its full potential. So, now that we have that out of the way, you're going to choose 64-bit and click on download. I'm not going to do this because I already have it somewhere on my computer. And it should be right there. Yep, it's on my desktop somewhere. Or, it's, it's somewhere on my computer. I know I have it, I just don't know where it got moved. It was sitting right up here for the purposes of this video, but I it has been moved since then. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, www.pendrivelinux.com. And you are going to uh, select um, Universal USB Installer right at the top, the 123, easiest 123. And we're going to scroll down and download UUI. Um, once this is downloaded, it will go to your downloads folder. So you're just going to open up your start menu and go to your downloads folder and search for it here. Now, it may take me a minute to find mine. I have a couple different versions downloaded. I'm just going to run the latest version, uh, uh, 1.9.6.2. So we're just going to go ahead and run that, say yes, doesn't matter what version you have, you just download a version. And at this point, this is where we have to select our ISO file that we downloaded from Ubuntu.com. So we're going to go into Select OS from the drop-down uh, and put it on your USB. You're going to select Ubuntu. Um, this works with a bunch of different versions of Linux, um, but because we're using Ubuntu, that's what we're going to select for now. We're going to go to Browse. And this will open up a file explorer window, which will allow you to go searching for your file. Mine happens to be right here, so I'm just going to select it under ISO file and say open. At this point, you will need to plug your flash drive into your computer, and knowing that there is nothing on it, you will need to select it in the drop-down menu right here and just to make sure you go ahead and say format drive as FAT32, and you're just going to say create. Now, this will definitely warn you that it's going to, you know, delete everything off your flash drive. And, you know, if, if you have anything on your flash drive that you want to keep, then definitely make sure you make a backup of that before you do this. And anyway, this is going to do all of it by itself. It's going to completely make a bootable version of Ubuntu on your flash drive. 
Now, I'm going to be releasing a part two video on how to actually install Ubuntu on your new computer and boot to the flash drive, etc. So be uh, on a lookout for that. That'll be coming out in the very near future. So, as always, I'm Random List Guy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stick around for part two. Subscribe, comment if you have any suggestions on how I can improve my videos. And uh, definitely, definitely, definitely leave your opinions in the in in the in the in the uh, comment section that helps me out a lot and subscribe if you have the time. So uh, thank you. I'm Random List Guy, bringing you the latest in Linux and Windows with style. I'm out.